recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice. And I knew we would catch up, and that we would be the ones. Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, we are doing a plan with me from June 6th through 12th. I'm going to show you how I incorporate my zone cleaning into my planning, and I'm also going to share with you a great big planner haul. So if you're new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So today we are planning for the week of June 6th through June 12th in my Erin Condren Horizontal Life Planner. I thought today while we planned, I would show you how I incorporate my zone cleaning into my week. I separate my home into zones and this year I have been taking one zone a month and giving it a really good deep clean organization and you know decoration if it needs it. So for the month of June, my zone is the kitchen. And as you can imagine, there's always a lot to do in the kitchen. So I'm gonna be picking out a, a weekly kit. Today I'm going to be using kit 420 from Planner Kate. Planner Kate is one of my favorite sticker shops. I just love all the colors that she uses. Her stickers are so happy and just beautiful. I really love seeing them, you know, throughout the week um, as I work through my planner. I just love them. Whenever I purchase stickers from Planner Kate, I always get the same pieces. I always get the sampler set. I get the um, full boxes. I usually get two sets of the date covers, the skinny washi and the wide washi. And I have found, you know, now that I am like totally back into scrapbooking, I can oftentimes incorporate some of my uh, planner stickers into scrapbook layouts. I have a huge collection of cardstock, so I can always find something that matches up with my planner stickers. So we are just going to get started here. I always do a little bit of white out over the dates here in the corner just to kind of camouflage them a little bit from my header stickers here. So as some of you probably know, this past um, month or so, there have been so many new releases from the planner companies and Erin Condren has been one of my favorite go-to planners for, you know, for like a decade now. And she just had a huge um, release. And after we get done planning, I want to show you my little planner haul of all the things that I purchased from her. I didn't get too much. Actually, half of the things that I got, I got for Rebecca. She is a huge Star Wars fan, and I picked up some of those pieces um, for her because she is just totally into all that stuff. So I am just adding the dates here to my date cover. And I was thinking the last, since the last planner video that I did, I guess it was about a month ago, I attended my cousin's wedding and it was so awesome. It was your typical big Italian family wedding. We danced, we ate, we had so, so much fun. I have a video coming up in a couple weeks where I'm gonna share some clips of just the cookie table. Now, I don't know if your family does this, but our family has always had a huge cookie table at our weddings. Like, my aunts would start baking cookies like six months in advance of any of the family weddings. So by the time the wedding would roll around, there would be dozens and dozens and dozens of cookies. And this wedding was no different I have, all, since I was about 16, I guess, I've always lived away from um, like my immediate family, my cousins and everything. So whenever I am able to get back, I still call it back home, <laughs> whenever I'm able to get back home, 
it is always such a good time and you know we have really needed a good party in our family we've had a kind of a rough year and you know with covid and everything it's kept us away from each other for far too long i will say though this was like the one of the first big gatherings that i have been to since covid so i was a little nervous about it and unfortunately our groom uh, came down with COVID the next day, if you can believe that. So they were unable to go on their honeymoon. They had planned to go to um, Hawaii, but they did have, you know, trip insurance and everything. So they'll be able to go again when they can put it into their schedule. So, but that was really such a bummer. But I guess those are the time, you know, that we live in. So, with my little half boxes here, I like to put them under the dates because I use this section to um, plan my meals. I usually just plan for um, dinner, lunch, breakfast and lunch, everybody kind of um, does on their own. There is always so much food in my house that you know nobody's going to go hungry. And they're really good at getting their breakfast together on their own. So I'm gonna use some of these full boxes to fill in along the side here. This is usually the section that um, I use for um, appointments or you know something that's going on that day that I have to remember. And I love using these um, colorful stickers there because it just, it really does, um, you know, help me get through my week. I am a very planner oriented person. And I think sometimes even I need a little bit of motivation to stay planner focused because I get, you know, caught up in daily life. And sometimes even though I have a good plan for myself, I don't often stick to it. And I have a much better week when I can stick to the plan that I have. I forgot to mention when I was filming this little pen knife tool that I'm using. I just found it on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it down below, but it's the perfect tool for this kind of sticker trimming because you can cut the sticker without going through to your page. I have the bones of my week all set up and this is the point where I usually try to fill in, you know, just those regular things that go on all week, like on Wednesday is the day we have to put out for our trash day. And even though it comes every week, if I don't put it in my planner, I forget about it. And then on Fridays are my big laundry day. And it's usually in this section along the side that I like to put all like my appointments or you know something that's going on in that day. And Mondays are my grocery shopping days. And then Sundays are always my planner time. It's the time that I take just like an hour or two and I set up my planner for the week and get all of my to-do list all together. And that's usually, this weekend section here is where I like to put in all of the things that I'm working on for, um, for my zone. So that's where we're going to put our to-do list. Now down at this bottom section here, I'm not a big fan of the calendar. So I usually like to cover that up with a sticker. So the next thing I like to plug in is my meal plan. And this is usually figured out a couple days ahead of time by, you know, what I already have in my pantry and in my refrigerator. And I take requests for the week. So Monday is going to be meatloaf. And mashed potatoes. Tuesday is going to be 
chicken parm, which is one of my favorites. Wednesday, we're going to be doing bison burgers. Thursday has always been like my leftover day and is one of my favorite days of the week. Friday, we usually do takeout or it's pizza night. This week, it's going to be pizza night. And Saturday is usually something easy like sloppy joes. And then Sunday, I usually make a big meal. And I think this Sunday, we are going to have salmon. So now that I have all my basics um, down in my planner, I want to add in the parts of my zone cleaning that I want to get done. So I'm going to the front of my planner here. And this is where I always have listed um, the zones that I'm working on, which this month is going to be the kitchen and the dining room. And then on this side, I have a list of all the things that I want to um, do in those rooms. So I've already checked off a few things from my list, um, like for the kitchen and for the dining room. So I just have to decide what I wanna work on this week. And I think it's going to be um, the cabinets. I want to wipe down all the cabinets and you know kind of clean them out, straighten them out, and hopefully I will be able to do the drawers as well. So I'm going to go into my weekly plan here and start making um, a to-do list with those things in mind of the things that I have to um, you know get done to be able to clean off the cabinets and straighten them all out. So. For this, I'm going to use my color dot in the color, I don't know, powder blue. So I just make a series of dots down the page and fill them in with what I need to start with. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I need to buy Murphy's oil soap, which that's what I've always used to wipe down my cabinets. So I need to, um, And then I want to get one of those soft little children's uh, toothbrushes. That's what I use to kind of get into all the crevices. So I'll need to get a soft toothbrush. So I still have some space here that I can add a couple more things that I want to do. And now I just need to decide on a day where I can devote some time to do them. So I think that since Thursday is my leftover day and I don't have to worry about making dinner, I do not have any appointments that day. It's going to be just a basic at home day. I think I'm going to put in here to wipe down the cabinets and the drawers. And since also Friday is going to be an at-home day because I have some deliveries that are coming that day. I think uh, that is when I am going to clean out the cabinets and the drawers. Okay, so this is basically what I need to get done. Now these other little jobs, you know, like to buy the supplies that I'm going to need to vacuum out, you know, the drawers, maybe replace the paper, those kinds of things I can figure out when to stick them in during the week because they're like, you know, five, 10 minute little jobs. So I have my plan of action for the week with my zones. I have my meal plan all set up. Now off camera, I'm going to fill in my appointments, meetings, and family schedules and my planner is set for the week.
So coming up next is my planner haul, which is a combination of a few different orders that I've made over the last couple weeks. So my haul today is going to be a combination of a couple different purchases. You know, Erin Condren had some really great deals going on in this last couple weeks. And I also have some gifts in here and some new planners as well. So why don't we put a couple of these things aside so that I can share with you the planners that I purchased. So I have been using the same types of planners for years. I have always used the Erin Condren horizontal planner and I'm making a couple changes. So the one thing that I have changed is I'm going to try the Erin Condren hourly planner. Now this is a type of planner that I have not tried before and I think my idea is that this is going to help me really detail my day out a little bit more with exact times so that I can do some like block scheduling better planning to be more productive in my day. Now it's basically the same monthly layout as my horizontal, so I will still be able to do my month and all of my extended month planning here in the dashboard. So I also picked up myself the new design by EC, which is the Compact Vertical. I was really excited for a new design. Like I said, I have been using EC products for over a decade and I'm always excited when something new comes out. And I thought this was such a simple, perfect design. I'm gonna be using this planner for my YouTube channel. This will be to plan out my content. And I like that it is just very simple. You can use these sections for your daily to-do list. Your monthly layout is still the same, so you can use it as you normally would along with your dashboard. And I think we are super lucky because some of those wonderful sticker shops have already started to design stickers for this new planner. So I picked myself up several weeks of stickers from Planner Kate. She's one of my favorite planner shops anyway. She does such a beautiful job. And I really love what sold me was that she created a sticker for this section right here, which to me is always very valuable real estate in a planner. And I think sometimes when they add the monthly calendar here, it kind of limits you on how you can use this space. So with Planner Kate, she created this large sticker that will cover this whole section so you can utilize it a little bit more easily. So this planner begins in July. So next month is going to be all new planning all the way around. EC also had a great deal a couple weeks ago where if you bought two notebooks, you got one free and notebooks are my favorite thing anyway. So I was able to get for myself an A5 productivity notebook. This is my favorite size of notebook to carry around because you know, it fits in your bag really well. It's not too bulky and it's just easy to have with you all the time. The cover that I got, I think this is just the animal print one that I just chose. I think it was like um, powder pink and white. Then I also picked out this Etta V covered for another productivity notebook in the seven by nine size. Isn't this gorgeous? I just think she does the most beautiful artwork. I also picked up to go along with it, a planner folio in the same design and these come in so handy, not only for your planners and your notebook, for other supplies that you carry with you. This is great for scrapbooking supplies. It's also great if you travel a lot and you need to take papers with you. You can use this for so many other things. And then I picked up a notebook for Rebecca. She is a huge Star Wars fan. I also got her a couple more pieces, but I thought this cover was just perfect for her. And I got her the notebook with the blank pages inside so that she can use it to draw. She's an um, artist on the side, so she's always filling notebook after notebook with her artwork. So I thought this was a great notebook to have. Now the other things that I picked up for Rebecca were, I picked her up this Star Wars bag strap. I think she's going to probably use it on her guitar case, but she can add this to any bag or her camera bag if she wants to. Like I said, she's a huge Star Wars and Star Trek fan, so I think she's really gonna love this. And then I also picked her up the Star Wars ballpoint pen. 
and the Star Wars designer sticker book. And then the last thing that I got was for Pride 2022 was this You Are Included cover, which I don't know if the camera is picking up, but it is just so beautifully done. I got this in an A5 size to add on to one of my A5 notebooks so that I can carry it throughout the year. So that is everything I got in this planner haul. I am really excited about starting in my new planners next month. I will be sure to let you know how everything works out for me. I'm sure you'll be seeing some weekly and monthly layouts coming up in some new videos. So thank you all so much for watching today. Check the description box down below for any of the links that I mentioned in today's video. I hope you will join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. And don't forget to subscribe. I would really love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other. Stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.